Hi class! For today's lesson, we are going to discuss Module 4, Describe Changes in Properties of Materials when Exposed to Certain Conditions such as Temperature or when Mixed with Other Materials. Our objectives for this lesson, you are expected to Describe what happens to solid materials when mixed with other solid materials. Identify the effect of mixing two solid materials. Class, I have here a mixture of mixed fruits, mixture of powdered milk and flour, and mixture of iodized salt and sugar. Why do you think that these materials are called mixtures? What is a mixture? Mixture is formed when two or more materials are combined. Like banana added by strawberry, kiwi, and blueberry. Added this together, we can form a uh, mixed fruits. Do you like these fruits? Do you eat this? Yes, you should eat these fruits because fruits provide nutrients vital for health and maintenance of our body. Now class, we form a mixture of mixed fruits. Now, what happened to the fruits after mixing or combining them together? Do you think their properties change? No, their properties do not change. The size, the color, the shape of each fruit remain the same after mixing together. Can you still identify, distinguish each fruit after mixing or combining them? Yes, you can still identify each fruit after mixing or combining them. You can still identify the strawberry, the banana, the kiwi, and the blueberry. Class, when solid material is mixed with other solid materials, each of the combined or mixed materials can be easily identified, distinguished from one another. And we call that heterogeneous mixture. And now, what about the mixture of powdered milk and flour? In this mixture, can you identify or distinguish the powdered milk and flour when combined? No, you cannot identify the powdered milk and flour when combined. Did the material look the same throughout? Is there a change in the property of solid materials? Some solid materials, when mixed with other solids, cannot be distinguished from each other. The resulting mixture look the same throughout, and we call that homogeneous mixtures, like mixture of powdered milk and flour. Powdered milk and flour combined together is an example of homogeneous mixtures. Iodized salt combined with sugar is another example of homogeneous mixtures. When we mix strawberry with banana, kiwi, and blueberry, we form a mixture. 
mixture of mixed fruits. Mixed fruits is an example of heterogeneous mixture. Now class, what happened to solid materials when mixed with other solid materials like mixed fruits, powdered milk and flour, and iodized salt and sugar? When two or more materials are combined, a mixture is formed. Solid materials can be mixed, combined with other solid materials. Mixed materials can be classified depending on the appearance of the resulting mixture. Class, you have to keep in mind that when solid material is mixed with other solid materials, each of the combined mixed materials can be easily identified or distinguished from one another, such mixture is called heterogeneous mixture. Another, you have to keep in mind that some solid materials, when mixed with other solids, cannot be distinguished from each other. If the resulting mixture look the same throughout, such mixture is called homogeneous mixtures. Always remember, the properties of each solid material in the mixture do not change. And the size, shape, color of each solid material remain the same even after mixing. And now, I want you to get your science notebook and ball pen. You are going to list down five examples of materials being mixed. Then, identify the kind of mixture form. 